All right, welcome back. A fun part of our Friday morning is triad trivia. We're right. excited. <laughs> Ryan's excited because he always wins. <laughs> We're excited. Uh, this is a weekly segment where we test our knowledge on various topics and we invite you to play along. All right. So this week's trivia questions are courtesy of Dan Schlemmy. He Dan. hosts trivia at Fiddle and Fish Brewing Company in Winston-Salem every Tuesday night. Good morning, Dan. Morning, guys. How y'all doing? We're doing great. We are good. I am Excellent. maybe ready. We'll see. Let's start with our first question. <laughs> All right. Here we go. What was the first full-length Disney animated feature film? So I think I, this one I did have a guess. <laughs> nice. Uh, I don't know. First oh. full-length oh. Disney animated film. Got to give people time to think about it. Okay. In the 1920s, I think the first Disney animation came out. It was called Steamboat Willie. Oh. And that was Mickey Mouse, uh, like a version of Mickey Mouse early on. I don't think that was a feature film, though. So. My, my first guess, the first thing that popped in my head was Fantasia. Oh, mine is um, uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. The early one, yeah. So why aren't you going with Mickey Mouse? Because <laughs> I don't think it was a feature film. I think it was just a short, like, cartoon, a very um. short thing. So I'm going to go with, go with Fantasia. Dan? All right. Well, you're right. Steamboat Willie was a, a feature, like a short. Mm -hmm. oh. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Wow. Was wow. The first one. Nice. Oh, yes. yes. Jackie. I learned that I think watching like a Disney Plus like documentary at some okay. point when it first came out, and I forgot how high pitched Snow White's voice was. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to it. I was like, Oh nice my goodness! How did we watch this growing up? Well done. Hi ho, hi ho. That's it's what I thought you were humming. We go. I no, I wasn't, I wasn't at all. Start. I was like, Oh, perfect. I wasn't notes. at all. Good job. All right. All what's right. Question two. <laughs> All right, question two. What beer's label features a musical instrument and the year 1759? Mm, I think Brian had a guess for this. Well, I, I did. Like, and 1759 would come to me a founding, so it's a beer that's been around for a while. So I was thinking it's Old Adams. World. Oh, okay. Mm. I, I, I'm not pretty old enough, sure probably. there's there's a, um, a harp on the Guinness cans. Oh, And yeah. as an avid malted hops beverage <laughs> connoisseur, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I was thinking Guinness as well. That is correct. Oh, all right, you two. Ooh. That was nice a tough job. Place. You know what though? 1700s. I did not think Guinness has been around no, for that long. No, that's a long time. That is a very long-standing beverage. Yeah. It is. For the record, I have not been long around that long either. Wow, that was hard to <laughs> Much say. Much to our surprise. A lot hard All to right, say. question Should've three. Been. All right. To keep their radar a secret in World War II, the British government said that their pilots were getting better night vision from eating what vegetable? I'm just going with what everybody always says, that it gives yeah. you better sight. Carrots. Carrots. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Ooh. That's perfect. Okay. Quick answers. Yeah. That was a good one, everyone. That's good. I feel like the words were trying to confuse us yeah. and yeah. mislead us when it was just a simple answer. Yeah. It was a radar question, so I really had to get that one right. Yeah, true. So, that carrots. Is true. That was carrots and vision. My, my mom used to say yeah. that. Yeah. Is that even real? I, I think so. It's, it's vitamin A. Vitamin A gives you better sure. vision, I think. All right. Yeah. Question four. Maybe we'll learn something new on this one, too. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Question four. I think you got this one, too. Better known as Cyclops, Scott Summers shoots eye lasers for mutant kind with what super team? I know this one. I literally couldn't even guess. follow this question. I had no idea Cyclops. reading this. Cyclops? Mm. Anyone? No. Brian, you for sure know it's, it. Yeah. It's, it's my favorite series of movies in the Marvel Universe. It's, really? it's X-Men. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, that's right. Brian, I, I love Marvel movies yes. too and I yeah. could not, my, sorry, my Friday brain, I literally looked at this, I was like, this is a mishmash of words and I can't even understand where, where I'm going with it. So, sorry. My wife used to steal her brother's X-Men comics when they were young. Oh. And so she's a big fan too. Okay. Well, okay. The more you know. All right. Yes. All right, final question, Dan. All right, last one. What was the name of the 1995 to 1998 children's television show, <clears throat> excuse me, based on a scary book series? Okay. See, I thought this was going to trip me up because I was thinking like, okay, what are in those years? But there's been remakes of this and that's why I know oh. the name of it. Yeah. Did you have any guesses? Um, 
Mm. I was not a child when this came out, so <laughs> I was an I was an adult at this point. I was How zero scary. to two years old. Is it like really scary? Is it like Ghostbusters? It was like creepy. Yeah, it was more creepy it's than creepy. Yeah. scary. Um, do you want it, a cigar? It, it gives you. Oh yeah. Goosebumps. Yeah, that's what it's goosebumps. called. Goosebumps. goosebumps. <laughs> Yes. Unless I'm totally wrong. Yeah, whisper and then we had a shout. Perfect. I'm like so confident with this, and he's like, actually, it's completely wrong. You're not the wrong answer. Yeah, yeah goosebumps. Yeah, they made happens. so many remakes of these. I used to love those television shows. They would mm -hmm. air on repeat on Nickelodeon stuff growing oh. up. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. Yeah, so cool. Love it. Thank Dan. you, Dan. Awesome, and we can all see you again on Tuesday night at Fiddle and Fish to play along. With some more rounds of trivia with Dan, you can head out there on Trade Street every Sunday, I mean rather Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. <laughs>